really good debaters. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, make your bag, boys. Well, you are in the studio debating, just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're here. We're happy to be here. So I guess going back to the criticisms, you use the term verbal abuse. So what, how do you consider verbal, what do you consider verbal abuse? Like if they're on the set and they're like, take it, bitch. Is that verbal abuse? Take it, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're, if they're like oh, you shooting while they're fucking. Yeah. 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 No, no. You see. Okay. So just so you know, Andrew. <laughs> is that, is that verbal abuse? No, no. But when no. they're shooting porn, how it works, just so you know, is it's very safe happy environment where oh, yeah. you go over what they want, what they don't want, the nose, safe words, all this and that. And then there's always a director on oh, that's set. That's very nice of them. Yeah, so... Before they go and cream this fucking girl's face with eight guys and she's going to have that video out for the rest of her life, before they do that, they want to make sure that they know her no-no words. Yeah. Got to make sure. Oh, that's, too much. that's one dick too many. Right? They're there because they want to be there. It's a safe mm-hmm. environment. It's their choice to be there. Yeah. And that's all that matters. It's what they want to do when yeah, it's their choice. I, don't think I mean, wanting eight dicks, so there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think that that's all that matters. You I shouldn't think shit that, on someone for... I think that we basically uh, outlaw all sorts of behavior that people want to do because it's really fucking bad behavior. And so you just, you know... Yeah, but do you have sex, yeah. Andrew? Mm-hmm. With who? My wife. So you, do, you have sex with your wife? Yeah. No ring? All right. I have my ring. Oh, yeah. you wear it on the neck. Mm-hmm. Good for you. So, okay, so you have sex with your wife. Mm-hmm. They're doing the same thing, Andrew. They're having sex with their wife? In most cases, there are did a lot you, of married wait, couples. Did you have there sex, are. premarital sex? I'm just curious, yeah, dude. I have. Yeah, sure. Is that like, because I, the, 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 here's the thing, I'm not religious in any way. So mm-hmm. do your beliefs and all this stem from a religious background or just like, do you just personally look at it and go like, that's gross, I look that at shouldn't it both belong? Ways. So one, I would say it's sinful, but I, I would never be able to convince you guys of that. I wouldn't even bother trying. Well, yeah. <laughs> but what I can look at is I can look at the societal damage and how fucking horrific it is mentally on women to be involved in sex work and none of them end up with a good result. But why do you care about these ever. people because, if they're because, nobodies? Because this is the society I live in. Right, but because, I don't care because, about anyone. Because here's what I would hope. Here's what I would hope. I, and I would never get it from you guys, right? But here's what I would hope and wish more than anything. That I'd be driving down the fucking road in my shitty car, and the tire goes, and bam, I hit a rock, and I'm fucking dead. My daughters are orphaned, right? And they're struggling, and one of their friends goes, hey, you know what? You could go to this shoot and suck a dick, and they'll pay you 20 grand. And she goes, you know what? That sounds like easy money. I wish to God, before they walk in that studio, somebody like me would be like, no, don't do that. Do anything but that. Work as a fucking barista. Go do anything but this. Right. But that's the- what I would hope, but that's not the world we live in. Look, I'm not going to debate you on that, but if someone chooses to go into that, it's like, eh, I mean, working at Starbucks is arguably more degrading to your body yeah, they than choose. taking eight cocks. Yeah, why can't somebody choose to fuck a dead body? Well, they can. And do you have any moral qualms with that? Nope, because the body's dead. <laughs> so, no, no one's getting hurt. So it's fine. What? Who's getting hurt? So if they walk over and they grab roadkill off the road and start fucking it, you have no moral objection to that. None. None. Euler None. sees the pagan donated one hundred dollars. Yeah, Tone pagan. policing is controlling speech and opinions is an end run around to control modes of expression, which is the means to control the narrative. Control that and you control society. Just stop. I feel like I'm playing like fucking it, like Dungeons and Dragons. I never know. <laughs> that sounded like a quest. <laughs> you know what I think beyond the issue of them choosing to do that is they do have a lot of mental health issues when they do it. Not all of them <laughs> doesn't have But they do. A lot of people do have mental health issues. Just don't you have mental health issues? No, you believe in God. That's this not a mental health issue. That's a mental health issue. To a thousand me. percent. You exploit women making them into literal whores. And you want to tone police me? Dude. You fail at I life. I want that hundred bucks. Because <laughs> I just made him spend another hundred. <laughs> That's our hundred. Wait, so hold on. Ah, <laughs> so hold, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So let's explore a couple of the claims. So, so hang on. I just want to make sure I got this clear. Okay. Me believing in God to use a mental health issue, but fucking a dead body. Also oh. a mental health issue. No, wait, I agree. Wait, wait. Why is that a mental health issue? You it have, is. You it's have, fucking weird. You have no moral issues with it at all. Well, yeah. I don't really give a shit about right. it. But I also don't care that you believe in God because right. you don't affect me. Yeah, but if I did implement those morals of you can't fuck dead body because gross and immoral. But what's gross? Hang uh, on. Anal sex? But immoral, immoral to have sex with a dead body, you would say what? You're hurting my bodily autonomy? Like... 
That that's too much for you? Is that one line too much? Hey, we did not come here to debate fucking dead people. That no, is I didn't. Up. I'm just <laughs> I'm just asking. What, so so let me ask this. Can people. you back? Can I just ask you a question, dude? What is the where does sex stop being gross or start being gross for you? Yeah. So I'm not making an ick argument. I'm not saying I'm not going to sit here and tell you what type of sexual intercourse with a female is going to be gross or not gross right. or tasteful or not tasteful. I don't think it's really relevant. What is relevant, though, is that to say that we can put no restrictions on consenting sex is insane. We do it all the time. For instance, do you think that a brother should be able to fuck his sister? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think Why? so. Why? Uh, because it's gross. <laughs> yeah, but that's my opinion. <laughs> oh, hey, but hey, guess hey. what? Someone else is going to think that's okay. Is it immoral? Is it immoral? <laughs> uh, according to today's society, sure, but uh, half the world does it. Yeah, do you think it's immoral? I think it's a fucking immoral to fuck a lot of things in this world. Yeah, is that immoral or not? Is that immoral? What's immoral to you? Where do you get your morals? Well, well I, they're invented so by I, man, right? I, morals, I, right? I, they're not where they pass well, down to you by well, God. Well, if it's just subjective, right? Yeah. Then I don't know how you call anything immoral ever. That's what. So there you go. Like, if you think it's someone could find sitting next to a sex doll immoral. So then, from your worldview, then you have to understand what that would mean. That would mean that you couldn't say serial killers were immoral. You couldn't say that uh, child underage diddlers were immoral. You couldn't say anything was immoral if your claim is we just make up morality. We do make up morality. Well, then if we do just make up morality, you have no objective metric for which to call anything immoral ever. That's kind of how it so shit works. Nothing right? anything does is immoral. It just depends on society standards. And right now, having eight cocks in your mouth isn't illegal so if society says one day if they do so then it is be sure to be i just want to make sure that yeah. we're clear in your worldview then if society says that you can diddle kids totally moral no what do you mean i, no. I don't think so wait why not absolutely not because i can disagree with things too but no, i don't disagree with a basis, person taking eight would, dicks what would the basis be to make the disagreement if it's just a subjective metric uh if murder was legal i still would be like oh that's kind of whack why because i don't just doesn't feel right just how seeing a girl take eight dicks doesn't feel right for you. This is a personal opinion. So can you legislate based on it doesn't feel no, right? No, you can't. That's why Then why do you legislate against, against murderers and kid diddlers? Dude, I don't fucking make the rules. Would you? Uh, no. <laughs> you wouldn't? No, because I'm a piece of shit, you so would, you, you wouldn't would listen to me. So you wouldn't legislate against kid diddlers? Oh, I would do that. Okay, well, then if you would do that, then you would sure. legislate based on eh. Based on eh. It gives me the ick, right? Uh, it would be based on the fact that a child can't make up its own decisions and it's fucking a child. Yeah, but your entire basis for what is moral, mm -hmm. you just told me, mm -hmm. is based literally on your subjective metric of your preference of I don't like it. Mm, for me, yeah, yeah. We all have, it's called morals. Like We have our own, right? So like, if you have your own morals, yes. you say that the kid did learn bad, yes. then what would, and you would legislate against it based on your own morals. Sure. Why couldn't I legislate on this thing I say you is can. bad based on Dude, my morals? I'm not, but you, I, I don't care about your opinion just like you don't care about mine. Well, no, no, no. See, I do. You because care about my opinion? Live in, yeah, unfortunately. But you, you don't know who I am until we just met. You can vote. He can vote. I live in a society. He can't vote. He's from Canada. Yeah, yeah. Well, he can still vote. He's going to become a citizen, he told me, yeah, right? Well, we'll see. What, so the what thing he is, does is that the, so if you wonder why I care, thing, why do you care? Why do you thing? care what all these people do? Why do you give a shit so much? Is because if they just go all of our morality. Name taken, donated $100. Andrew, what you bring to the podcast, man, but you've cut Brian off a few times now. It's a little annoying for the viewers. Oh, they're probably turning on their own. for Brian. Oh, and these two guys suck. Oh, hey, it's, it okay. <laughs> it, it's okay. It, it's the nature of a fast-paced yeah. show like this. People cut each other off. <laughs> Andrew do be talking a lot. I feel like yeah, I haven't yeah. I haven't got the talking stick. You guys say you disagree a lot. Brian, where's Brian uh, at? Hold on, hold on. you got to allow Andrew to finish his argument. Okay. But name taken, thank for the message. So anyway, I feel like I'm in class right now, if and I didn't take my Ritalin. If everybody just has these kind of subjective metrics for what is moral, and it's all just coming from our own personal preference or purview or this or that, they have no basis to say, one, that anything is immoral, or two, that me legislating any of my morals would be any worse than you doing it. So if I say sex work is unequivocally evil and bad, you would have no basis to tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't, but I don't care about your then opinion. I can the, discuss then that then with that's you. the debate. The, yeah. deba Sorry, <laughs> the debate is just, sure, if you and the rest of you Christian populace outlaw sex work, more power to you. Hey, if you get the fucking job done, God bless you. Yeah. So, so how come you guys don't bring on male performers? I and did, we just did. We brought and, on two male performers. You have any problems with them, Andrew? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I debate them all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've never seen you guys. I also debate. Go, uh, I debate red pill gurus. Well, we, we uh, you have a, to understand when you say who, you guys, guy? Sterling Cooper. Right. We've yeah. had him. On the whatever the show. podcast is Brian Atlas. Yeah, right. right. I'm just a guest. Yeah. Yeah. Right. My show. Yeah, I debate with them all the time. Okay. Absolutely happy to. Has do. anyone ever changed your opinion? Yeah, I've had my opinion changed about tons of things. Okay. Especially interactive, the way that men and women interactively date, how it operates in the, in the year 2024, a lot of the reasons people move towards sex work. There was all sorts of presuppositions I had which were completely and totally untrue. Absolutely. And mm. what I've come to is, but interestingly enough, I actually go into debates with open minds, right? But when somebody says, hey, it's okay to fuck a dead body, obviously I'm not going to... I I'm obviously at that point I'm like, like ah, I'm not so sure that t that your opinion on this is great. But the thing is, is uh, I still want to listen to why they think what they think. I want to understand why it is that they believe what it is that they believe. And what I found is this: unequivocally, uh, almost every sex worker I've talked to regrets it. At the end of their at the end of their road, when they're all done. They always look back and say, I wish I hadn't done that. And if you talk to them privately, they say, you're absolutely fucking right. And I wish more people would do something about this industry. I'm going to chime but, in there. I'm going to chime in there. Yeah. I know these girls very well. A lot of them are close friends of do mine. Do you fuck them? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah, I have. And I know them very well. And I get close with them outside the show. And these are my, my best friends and favorite people. And I totally disagree with you. Not most of them regret it. Not most of them are pissed that they did it and would have made different choices. A lot of them rep it and are very happy. How with many of the ones who are retired are you uh, getting? A lot of them. I, I talked to a lot of the ones that are retired. They're very happy with, first of all, they made a very big career for themselves. A lot of them made multi, multi millions. Most sex workers don't make shit. I mean, would you treat it like any other job? How many people do I talk to that hate their job still, right? Mm -hmm. It's like they got into sex work. But, but a lot of them, plumber is a lot of them actually love the what they do. When and you're if a plumber, you take notes like Cherie DeVille, yeah. Alexis Fox, 20 years in the business, multi-millionaire celebrities. Yeah, that's the, they're top, still sh that's the top, 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 They're top, shooting top five percentile. scenes a day because they love it. You take a girl like Luna uh -huh. Star. She's been doing this 12 years. She's married to Michael Bay, mm -hmm. worth $600 million. She's married to Still, Michael Bay? Yes. Or, or about to get married. But yeah, they're, they're dating. They're living together. Still shoots these every are, day because she loves it. These are not. She's happy. She the, wants bro, to shoot. These are not the common denominator for sex workers. You're, you're pointing at the top, 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 1.1.1 percent. I'd be like me telling uh, people, hey, Everybody should do a podcast because uh, Destiny's a multimillionaire. Right. So you guys. That are would be fucking nuts to say. If I said that, I would be setting people sure. up for massive So let's massive talk about failure. OnlyFans girls then. So that's well, the degree. Or is the, or yeah, is the sex work up. also sure. back to like just like someone's hooking behind a dumpster for five dollar blowjobs, right? Yeah, I mean, I would. That's, I that's more the speed versus I, no, no, no. The top one percent of porn stars. I consider all of it to be under the same purview of degeneracy. When I say degeneracy, so you understand what that means. It just means without morals. So, like somebody who says, I don't care if you fuck a dead body or you fuck rope sure. guilt, it's fine. I consider that to be absent morals because you say all morality is subjective. It's just up to my purview. Therefore, what I say is moral. What you say is moral. What you say is moral. What you say is moral. Yeah. Right? That's all the absence of morality. But do you guys ever joke around in these debates? Because, yeah. like, I'm not pro fucking dead body. <laughs> you know? He was like, so I didn't just come on here to be like stiff. Now, I, I also like, want to clarify like, I'm just why chilling. we're here. It's you guys not, stiffened up real quick once the cameras turned Sex work is a off. very broad bubble of this whole thing. I don't know shit about prostitution. It's illegal in many states. Yeah, and a lot of times it's not people's choices. That. I'm here to stand up for uh -huh. adult stars doing adult films and then OnlyFans girls. Yeah, girls, those, those everyday girls prostitutes. that <laughs> sell exclusive content. How is a corn star not a prostitute, bro? That's a prostitute. Absolutely not. Oh, Absolutely really? Not. So, yeah. the, so as long as I give you money, as long as I have a camera in your face, it's not hooking? See, that <laughs> argument gets told to me all the time. Because I, it's a good it's argument. A it's argument. A, wait, wait. What's, What's the argument? It's, it's a terrible dollars. argument. One sec, guys. In the wise words of Andre Vilson, the poorest man in the world still sees himself richer than a degenerate porn star. Correct. And so does everyone else. Yep. See, 